For today's quiz, we have a battery, a diode, and a 10,000 ohm resistor. This diode is in a reverse bias condition. In other words, it's put in the wrong way, so it's not going to really allow current to flow through. So I'll give that part away. Our question for today is, what will the voltmeters read if this is a 6 volt battery? And that's what your quiz looks like. As always, please mark your confidence in your answer. All right, let's go over a couple student explanations that we normally get. The first is, we should have all of the voltage across this voltmeter and none across this voltmeter. Others will say, no, 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 it's the other way around. Um, and some will say, well, it's going to be divided between them because I've got a voltmeter here and a voltmeter here. So I'd have like three volts here and three volts here. So those are the, the typical responses that we get. Let's actually explain this. When I uh, have a diode put in the reverse bias condition, no current is going to flow. And therefore, we won't have any electrons going across this resistor, so we're not going to read anything on this uh, particular voltmeter. We should have all six volts across the diode. Essentially, that is stopping um, our, our current. So when I hook this on, and, and I hope that you all thought that uh, you would get the six volts and the zero volts. Let's test this out. When I clip this on, by the way, each of these meters are on the three scale, three volt scale. You'll notice that they're both closer to three volts, which is wrong. So how can that be? And this is our conundrum. The conundrum is when you use a meter like this, you have to think about how it works. Inside here, there's a 10,000 ohm resistor or, so, or something like that. We have a 10,000 ohm resistor or something like that right here. And therefore, it is going to end up leaking so much current through these meters that we can't get uh, a very valid result. So, um, give me a second. I'm going to switch these meters out to meters that have a much higher impedance or resistance. All right, now that I'm back, let's see if, if we can uh, get readings off of these digital meters. Now, when I connect the power again, you'll notice that I get six volts here and zero volts here. And that's the conundrum. If we're using meters and we don't understand how they work, we can get answers that are gonna be incorrect that would throw off all of our theoretical work. So what's the difference between these meters? Let me show you this. I'm going to grab another meter. I have the power disconnected. This one I'm going to use as an ohm meter. So I'll put it on uh, the 200,000 scale. Hopefully we can see that right here. If I were to take one of these meters, take it off, and I'm on the 20 volt rating scale right there, and I were to connect it on here, and find how many ohms or how much resistance we have in this ohm meter, it's actually too high. It's above 200,000. I'll go to the 2 million scale, and now I'll finally go up to the 20 million. And you can see it's about 10 million ohms, uh, essentially 10 million ohms. There's a little bit more to it. We should really be talking about impedance. So this one is going to have an incredibly high resistance. Let me do the same thing with one of our other meters here. I'll just take this meter here and I'll simply touch these. I won't need the million scale as you're gonna see in a second here. Be 
you'll notice if I simply put these across in here, and there should be another one right here, I can go way, way down. Now I'm on the 200 scale. I can go to the 20,000 scale. I'm at about 11,000 ohms. This meter has about, you know, what was that, 11,000? You know, 100 times or 1,000 times what um, this scale has in terms of resistance. So this one essentially leaks. When I put one of these meters, if this is a 10,000 ohm resistor, and this is roughly 10,000, we're gonna have leakage going through the meter to the point where the diode really doesn't even mean anything in the circuit. It's really two 10,000 ohm resistors uh, in series with a six volt battery. Hence, you would think about three volts and about three volts. So that's the importance of using the right meter and understanding how both work. So that's your quiz for today.